this right here is a 10 speed um, transmission, uh, Eton 10 speed transmission out of this 2015 Cascadia. Uh, the situation is then it was um, the driver complained and he, he was going on four gears and the gear level was going to neutral eventually. So uh, with no warning at all, just like jumping out of gear. It happened in, in any moment and also happened on night gear, four and night are together. So uh, yeah, we clearly have a problem on this transmission and uh, sadly the only way to know the problem with this transmission is from replacing the, the I mean removing the transmission completely out of the engine and disassembling the transmission. There is no way to be able to repair the transmission when the transmission is there. So that's the reason why this transmission is out. But it is also repaired. We already repaired it. Uh, to do this, we have two different components that I want to talk about later. For right now, what I want to talk about is the actual problem then, um, then the transmission had. So, so these right here are the gears, transmission gears. This is a synchronizer. And the also is another gear. This one doesn't have much damage. So this is so what a normal synchronizer gear looks like. See this? what it's supposed to look like no minor damage there is always some kind of damage grinding and all that it's normal but the one thing is damaged is this one which is the fourth four gear or nine gear you can see how damaged this one is compared to the other one see i'm gonna put them together right here and you can see how this one looks like completely destroyed completely grind out and this one see how it looks like so you can see it has more meat in it, the metal is there, so there's not much wear. But this one, the wear is completely down to the edge of the gear. So that's the reason why the gear, which is uh, this one and the synchronizer, when they run in like this, it will jump out, see, like this. Yeah. And when it does that, it will set the synchronizer back to neutral, like this. Neutral is in this position where there is no contact. So you put it back and it will just do this. So versus this one, see, it doesn't do nothing, see? Yeah, see, it stays, see? It doesn't move, but this one, see the same distance, see? It comes out. So that's the reason why we have the issue on this, uh, uh, transmission, 10 speed transmission. And this problem can happen to any transmission, doesn't matter if it's uh, 10 speed, 9 speed, uh, 13, 15, uh, or any other transmission that is manual. Even aromatics, they are like semi um, manuals because there is aromatics that have still synchronizers. Um, they still uh, gonna have the problem like this. Then synchronizer wears out, normal use, you know, like. Over the time, when you're shifting over gears, you're gonna grind the gear out. It's normal because there is always a gap, a fail, than we, 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 we do as humans. And uh, when that happens, well, this is the part that suffers. So whenever you are putting the gear on and you hear then the uh, gear is sounding, crrr, kind of something like that, it is not the actual gear, which is this one. The teeth of it is not this one. It is. The synchronizer, the one that is making that noise, the one that does that noise, like like this. Because the synchronizer is not getting engaged, it's not getting um, at the same speed of the gear. So because they're not at the same speed, you have to force the synchronizer to uh, get in, into gear, and that's when the noise comes out. Um, uh, these repairs are not cheap, if you ask me. Uh, they're... Um, about uh, depending two thousand dollars three thousand dollars depending on the parts that you replace in this case we are only replacing the two synchronizers i mean the two gears and the synchronizer then is damaged but uh, that doesn't mean the other gears are not going to have any problems so this is just a cheap prepare for the moment because situation is tough in this uh, moment uh, 2023 business is not very well um and um, after replacing the synchronizer, well, it should be okay for at least gear number four and night too, also. Uh, but the other gears, like uh, one second and the other ones, uh, I don't know. 
that's going to be a different uh, uh, repair. But in this case, at least the problem is going to be solved. Um, my recommendation, for any reason, you have a problem with your transmission and uh, you get to the point that the transmission is jumping gears, it's getting to neutral or it's not getting in or staying on neutral all the time, it's better to replace the whole transmission with a rebuild one. But it's very expensive compared to rebuilding the transmission. Um, this repair probably is going to cost around $2,000, let's say, and a transmission, a whole Pre-built transmission is going to cost you for between $3,000 all the way to $5,000 depending from where you get it. It could be cheaper sometimes, but depending on the location where you get it, that is where it's going to vary. But uh, in this case, since we have problems with the transmission and the, the synchronizers and the transmission is completely off, we also have the opportunity to replace the clutch, to replace the transmission fluid, to replace the motor mounts, replace a uh, rear main seal and other components that are part of the rear area of the engine. Take advantage every time to do that, that way you don't have to pay extra labor. Um, but uh, uh, preparing the problem is very important, so if you don't have the budget to do all that, at least preparing the problem that will be enough to solve the, the situation in whatever the truck is in at the moment. Um, but this is all I'm going to talk about, uh, problems with transmissions, it doesn't matter what year is your truck or what transmission you have, you're still going to have similar transmission, especially with manual transmissions, some of these components are mechanical, they only have A or B as repair, there is no other way, um, and uh, once uh, you repair them, it should be working fine. If you the repair the transmission and there is a sound coming from the transmission or one gear doesn't go in or something, that means there's something wrong. Something then was at bolt and wasn't installed properly or simply there is something that was not done properly inside the transmission. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, go to Instagram if you want to see me, com uh, Francisco on YouTube. Uh, there you can see other things that I'm doing besides uh, trucks, or things that I'll do as well. Um, you want to support to the channel, uh, send support by using the description of the video. I have details how to send support to the channel. And thank you for watching.